Health Organization's Global Conference on Air Pollution and Health has just concluded in Cartagena, Colombia. Leaders, scientists and activists gathered with one urgent goal – to find ways to cut air pollution-related deaths in half by 2040. Every year, nearly 7 million people die prematurely due to air pollution. The problem is worse in developing countries, where vulnerable communities suffer the most. 9 out of 10 people breathe air that fails to meet WHO's safety standards. Children under 15 are among the worst affected, with over 2.7 billion exposed to unsafe pollution levels. The economic impact is staggering, costing the world an estimated $8.1 trillion annually. Once pollutants enter the bloodstream, they can cause severe lung diseases, inflammation, cancer, and even long-term damage to brain function. Studies show that air pollution affects brain development from the womb to old age, increasing risks for autism, depression, and dementia. It also leads to heart disease, strokes, and millions of asthma cases worldwide. But there is hope. The conference highlighted real-world progress in fighting air pollution. A recent study found that deaths caused by fossil fuel-related pollution fell by nearly 7% between 2016 and 2021, largely due to efforts to cut coal use. If more cities and countries meet WHO's air quality guidelines, millions of illnesses and deaths could be prevented, saving billions in healthcare costs. A major focus was the urgent need for cleaner energy. Right now, burning fuels for transportation, industry, and power generation is one of the biggest contributors to pollution. Scientists stressed that shifting to renewable energy is critical. The reduction of black carbon, a dangerous pollutant linked to severe health problems, must also be prioritized. This means phasing out diesel, reducing emissions from cooking stoves, and tackling industrial pollution. Despite these challenges, the conference ended on a hopeful note. Cities around the world are proving that action works. London, for example, has successfully reduced pollution levels through its ultra-low emission zones, helping to improve air quality for hundreds of thousands of residents. The European Parliament has introduced stricter air quality laws, and mayors from cities in the Global South are working on their own initiatives to clean the air. The key message from the conference was clear. The world can no longer afford to ignore air pollution. It's not just an environmental issue. It's a public health emergency. Governments, businesses and individuals must act now to ensure cleaner air for future generations.